What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Q&A video. Some of the questions we are going to cover will be MK677 and insulin worth it? How can I prevent causing insulin resistance while on MK677? What to add in with TRT for lean mass, MK677 with RAD or LGD? First cycle guidance. If you hop on test, you have to stay with it the rest of your life or a PCT would help. Anavar versus RAD140 while on TRT. So those are the questions we're gonna be answering today. Of course, if you guys need anything, check out the link in the description down below and let's jump into it. MK677 and insulin worth it. So first I wanna say, unless you are an incredibly experienced bodybuilder or you have a remarkably smart coach, stay away from insulin. It is the most dangerous compound along with some diuretics that are in bodybuilding, but one of the most dangerous compounds in bodybuilding. You can take just a little bit too much and fall over dead. Numerous bodybuilders have passed away from taking insulin and the risk to reward at least for me personally, you know, it's your life, you can do what you want, but I'm gonna offer my advice and what I would personally do. I would never take insulin. Now, unless your career is a professional bodybuilder where you have to take these crazy hardcore cycles, your coach, you know, whoever is putting you through your preps is demanding for some reason you get on insulin, then maybe. But for the average lifter, the average even competitor that could still get a pro card easily without insulin, there's no point. It's just so dangerous, there's really no reason. Now MK677, that is a great compound. Growth hormone secretagogue has proven studies. It's very popular for many reasons. Obviously people rave about it. And once again, if you guys need anything, check out the link in the description down below. How can I prevent causing insulin resistance while on MK677? Coincidentally, these questions go hand in hand. Um, Basically to prevent the insulin resistance that is common with MK677, it usually happens after a long period of time. So let's say you've been taking MK677 for a long, and I'm talking a long duration of time, over six months, maybe a year, maybe two years. Um, it's hard to say exactly for each person when insulin resistance is gonna set in, but the remedy to that is simple, just cycle off. I always say like after six months of MK677, cycle off for a couple months, maybe even cycle off for six months, four months, two months, you know, however long you're gonna cycle off, but come off, that way you don't run into the insulin resistance problem. And then of course, once you've had some time off, you can start your next cycle, you know, whatever your goals are, whatever you wanna do, then you start that back up. What to add in with TRT for lean mass, MK677 with RAD or LGD? This for sure is one of my favorite cycles or things to do is you have your TRT, which is your testosterone base. That way if you're taking compounds like RAD or LGD that are suppressive to your natural testosterone, your levels are just gonna be stable because you're on that TRT. So that's the purpose of the TRT, that's why it's beneficial in this situation. Now taking the MK677, if your ultimate goal is for lean mass, I would say stack that with the RAD 140 over the LGD, but not to say you couldn't still maintain a lean look while on LGD. I just know some people experience bloating. I never personally experienced bloating with LGD, but you may. Um, RAD 140 is more of a cutting compound, a dry compound. So if you're looking ultimately just for super lean gains, then I would stack the MK677 with the RAD and of course on TRT. First cycle guidance. So I've had a couple videos, I think on this channel and also my main channel, talking about the first cycle. Number one, you can start with Turkesterone, which of course does not require any PCT. You're not gonna get crazy results or anything like that because it's not nearly as anabolic as, you know, Winstrol, Tren, the SARMs that are on the market, testosterone, you know, everything that is out there. It's not gonna really match up to that level. Now for your first actual cycle, if you're afraid of injections, I would say go with uh, just a SARM. And then of course have your PCT, your post-cycle therapy on hand, which if you guys are curious about how to run post-cycle therapy, I have a video on this channel you are currently watching, full in-depth guide, dosages, everything you will need. So if you're at all curious, go check that out. But if you're ready to make the true leap into the unnatural world, remove your natty card, hand it up, get it revoked. I always say testosterone, but not like a crazy high dosage testosterone. I say 250 milligrams, 300 milligrams. Somewhere in that ballpark range, you're still gonna see crazy results guaranteed because you're gonna be far above naturally what you would ever be able to produce. And then you're gonna set yourself up for more success down the road because you're not taking these crazy cycles, oversaturating your receptors in your body to where you know you're not gonna be able to gain down the road. Starting with a super basic cycle, I guarantee you, mark my words, I will personally reimburse you. Actually, I don't know if I can say this, but I will reimburse you hypothetically if you do not gain anything off of taking 250 milligrams to 300 milligrams of testosterone for your first cycle. Now doctor, do not do anything without your doctor's supervision. If you hop on test, do you have to stay with it the rest of your life or a PCT would help? I'm gonna assume you're not talking about uh, TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, and you're just talking about like 
how we just talked about a cycle of testosterone. If that's the case, if you're just running a cycle of testosterone and you plan to cycle on and off, then definitely PCT, post-cycle therapy, is 100% needed. Now, if it's TRT, that should be a lifelong commitment. And by the way, I also wanna to say to you guys, if you need TRT, check out the link in the description down below. Prometheus HRT has everything you will ever need. But jumping back to if it's TRT, that should be a lifelong commitment. You shouldn't need to cycle off and let's say you're trying to, you know, get your significant other pregnant or something like that, but you wouldn't even necessarily need to cycle off of TRT. You could just run an HCG protocol and things like that to get your fertility back. But if you're on TRT, you do not need a PCT. But I do want to emphasize once again, if it's just a testosterone cycle, you plan to do like an eight to 12 week cycle of testosterone and then come off and then run some other different cycle, maybe testosterone in a higher dosage or add another compound in then definitely PCT. Anavar versus RAD140 while on TRT. So I do like to see, honestly, that a lot of people, it seems like at least my following are more familiar with TRT. And I like to see people using TRT as a base so that they're not, you know, cr having these crazy fluctuations in their levels, their estrogen, their testosterone. But Anavar versus RAD140, honestly, I'm gonna say they're pretty similar. In fact, in my opinion, this might shock a lot of people. Anavar is pretty mild, unless you're like a female competitor. So, if I was to put Anavar versus RAD 140 in a head to head, I would say RAD 140 is actually gonna come out on top as being more anabolic, more results at a lower dosage. Anavar as a male, especially if you're a bigger guy like me where I'm 6'4", around like 230 to 250, and who's taken a couple different things in his past, um, Anavar I need to run at an incredibly high dosage to really notice much of an effect. It is low on the side effects, but also so is RAD 140, and RAD 140 is just gonna have more results more lean muscle gain, in my opinion. So if I was to bank on them, you know, and they're, head, they're in a head-to-head, -head, who's gonna win? I would say RAD140. If you guys wanna take part in the next Q&A, make sure you follow my anabolic Instagram, which is Half Wicked Labs. Um, I get back to all of your guys' DMs. Every single DM I answer on Half Wicked Labs. It may take me a little bit of time to get back to you, but I will answer you. And of course, once again, if you guys need anything, check out the link in the description down below. That's for TRT, um, everything your lab rat will ever need highest purity, highest dosages, discounts available as well. So I want you guys to go out, do your research, do your studying, figure out what you're gonna do before you jump on and do anything and make any quick decisions. Happy holidays and thank you for watching.